2 30 in the morning we're getting up really didn't sleep much last night my nose has been stopped up all night um, perfect temperature though it didn't get really cold but 30 degree bag was way too hot anyway yeah we're gonna get up make some coffee and get the day started all right y'all let's do it laid out for you. Again, Lenny's and Larry's. I'm going to do two Colombian Starbucks, Pop Tarts, a spoon ready for the coffee. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. going to be good. Water-wise, I carried in almost five liters. I've got that and a full one left, so doing pretty good. That's going to keep a full one and get me back to the car, so we're rocking and rolling. Yeah, so sleep-wise last night, this tent's good. I like it. Um, I meant to bring my gossamer gear. I bought one of those little um, thin foam pads to try to keep my pad from sliding around all night. It slid around all night. Um, yeah, like the tent. Don't know which one. I think I'll probably take the duplex on the long trail. Not sure yet though. Either one you can't lose. I just like the duplex. I like having ventilation good ventilation on both sides being able to do things out of both sides so yeah we'll see um probably change up pads too i've said it before neo air x lights good um i got a pad another neo air trekker i think it's called it's a little bit wider a little bit heavier though so i don't know man i really want to go light on this trip uh, then my 30 degree quilt, just a little too warm. It's cooling down now though. Like the cool time is hitting, you can feel it. Um, but a little bit too warm. All in all though, uh, I don't sleep good first night of anything. So it's to be expected. It's what you do today on the back end of that bad sleep that matters. Uh, I talk about this in the book a lot. The bottom line is the first thing you shouldn't do is wake up and say oh crap i'm gonna have a crappy day because i got bad sleep let the day define itself go through the day um without having all those expe expectations or perceptions of what's going to happen man just let the day unfold it's going to unfold perfectly just be you um if you can take a nap later take a nap i probably will otherwise it's going to be a great day all right y'all let's get this coffee going forgot yesterday to mention too i still have my puppy inside my pack so clearly gonna have a puppy anywhere you go i don't care if it's summertime this puppy's going this one is the same arcteryx that i wore on the at so this one's got the entire at through hike and then some still love this jacket it still looks i mean it's in great shape so love it very lightweight sitting here enjoying pop tarts and coffee in the tent I've um, already started packing stuff up. Plan is we're going to get moving here in less than an hour. Um, yeah, and just see what happens. It's going to be dark when we're walking, but anybody that knows me knows I like hiking in the dark. All right, y'all. Had to wave off the Lenny's and Larry's cookie after my Pop Tarts. Not that hungry this morning, so I'll do this Power Crunch instead. We get these at Walmart. Most of y'all probably seen these. Get 13 grams of protein, 6 grams of sugar out of these, but they weigh nothing, so. This one tastes really good too. You know it's processed, but caught on trail, this is this is not bad for the weight. One thing this Gossamer Gear did awesome with this Kumo. This is such a comfortable riding pack, even for a bigger guy like me. I mean, I'm kind of thin framed, so it probably fits me better. If you're a if you're a thicker guy, this probably ain't the pack for you for sure. It doesn't have load lifters or anything does have a good waist belt though um, lets you tighten it up and get that weight on the hips but the one thing gossamer gear did right that is my favorite thing on any pack i have are these two shoulder strap pockets right here i mean you can see one this is a 
750 milliliter bottle. Milliliter? Anyway, maybe ounces? I don't know. <laughs> Regardless, um, it fits in there perfect. You can put a liter bottle in there if you want to. It's just gonna be close to your face. And then over here, I've got my sunglasses right now, but um, food, snacks for the day, um, another water bottle, whatever you want, man. I love these things. I wish more packs had this. Yeah, these are perfect. Well done, Gossamer Gear. Love this backpack. Man, I hope I can make it work on the long trail. Not sure yet. What I don't want to do is step up from this to a 60 liter ruck, because that's too much. Um, but we'll see. All right. One last thing. I wanted to talk about gear. I'm not a gear nerd, so I don't talk a lot about gear. Maybe I do more than I think, but anyway. So the crux, I think this is an Optimus, if I remember correctly. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, the reason why I like this stove and why I've stuck with it so long is because I'm an early riser. So if you get out on trail, especially if you're sleeping around shelters or in shelters, and you bring out that pocket rocket too, and you like to get up and have some early morning coffee, man, you need to get far away from that shelter before you light that stove because it sounds like a freaking airplane taking off and i have one um i'll use it if i have to but this right here silent once you get it lit um, very quiet big burner on here compared you know the pocket rocket looks like the jet engine of a rocket taking off man no kidding it's just one small stream of flame coming out this one's got that wider burn burner on it and i like it a lot so anyway not saying go with the crux optimus you saw what happened to Ivy Tad. I think that was a stove he was using when it shot flames all out everywhere, but that can happen to any stove. But just know what you need to use it for. It's more for just heating up water. You got to take into consideration of when you're going to do it, who's around, what noise, um, discipline factors that you should figure or factor in as you're buying that stove. All right, y'all. Just coming back from doing cat hole business. For all you aspiring through hikers, especially for the AT, um, you see it every year. People <clears throat> turn into privy princesses because they've never had to go to the bathroom in the woods. Just rehearse it before you get out there. Just know that it's okay. Why is that important? Well, your preference, like I'm all for it. Whatever you like to do, do that more often. But you got to be ready to do the other. When the Smokies, there's a lot of shelters that they don't have privies. Also, what it does is you start limiting yourself to where you'll stop for tonight. Whether that's too short of a distance or too long of a distance, you're gonna keep trying to push towards that privy because you're a privy princess. So just go learn to go to the bathroom in the woods. A tip somebody gave me before my hike, I used it last night, I use it every night I'm in camp. I go dig a cat hole before I go to sleep. And then that way in the morning, I know right where it is. I don't have to do any prep work. I just grab my stuff, go and it's all ready that will save you some energy and uh, running around when you got to go really bad to try to find somewhere to go. Use or lose it. All right, got everything packed up. It is just before four o'clock. I want to show y'all these poles. So these are the Black Diamond Alpine FLZ. There we go. 120 to 140 centimeters. <clears throat> These are the B and the Z's. These are the ones that break down, fold up. Beautiful about these when you're in a uh, Z Pax Altiplex owner is they go up to the 100, I think it's 135 centimeters that it takes to pitch your tent without using any extension rod. So awesome so far. These are very sturdy from yesterday. So Really interested to see how they held up. I got them on sale last year. So anyway, digging those. I got the cork candles, which is a must. All right, we're gonna start heading north. I don't know why I said that. I guess because my blue's called pushing north. But anyway, we're gonna start heading back towards the car. We got a big climb to get back up on top of Mount Taylor. People probably asking me, oh, why are you leaving? You're gonna miss all the views. Well, pretty much because clouds moved in and there aren't going to be any views. 
the mountain I showed y'all with those towers yesterday is socked in. So that definitely means the top of Mount Taylor socked in. So we're just gonna walk and see how it goes. Oh. Very cool out here, love it. So quiet, so freaking quiet out here. I was awake pretty much all night too. Never really heard any animals. Awesome. Let's do it. This is why I like hiking at night. So I have to get my butt kicked already. No sound. Nice cool breeze. I don't know if y'all can see those red flashing lights right over there, but I think that's the windmill farm. Those big turbines. And there's a grants off in the distance. Freaking amazing. Got it. Did that climb about 25 minutes. Not a bad mile pace for coming up that dang hill. 11,000 feet. Turn my headlight off so y'all can see what I see. All right, hopefully you can see some of the lights. That's Grant's down there. And it was wrong earlier when I stopped and said, there's Grant's down there. No, that was Albuquerque. Holy crap. It's about 50, 55 miles away. Albuquerque way out on the horizon. I don't know if you can see it or not. Amazing. I keep saying it. Turn my light back on. A lot of people scared to hike at night. I get it. But you gotta try it. You gotta get up on top of one of these mountains and stare down at the sleepy little towns. And see the light profile they have. It's just amazing. It's so solid. It's just a, oh, I love it. It's just a different perspective. And I freaking love it. Don't be scared to try it. It's an amazing way to enjoy hiking. All right, still making my way down, Taylor. Very rocky path. Good test for my shoes and my footwear, though. Coming back down. The long trail. I think that combo works good. Got in Genji's. And I'm still rocking Lone Peak. I think 4.5s. Still got a whole nother pair that are brand new, so I'll be rocking in for a while. To the 5.0 is going so y'all know how it is. Anyway, something interesting. My light headlight is bringing bugs out in front of me, obviously. And all I consume is, or assume is, is this bat. It just keeps swooping down right in front of me, grabbing the bugs. It's been going on for about the last quarter of a mile. He's feasting. There he goes, right there. Yep, that's a bat. How cool is that? Awesome. Night hiking. Love it. Guys, starting to get a little lighter. Hell, I don't know if you can even see that. Almost down to the car, not too far. Feeling good. It's a long downhill. Heavens, no wonder I was smoked last night. yesterday morning the elevation that was a pretty rough day good day good training day it ain't doing you no good if it don't hurt man that was uh that was a fun time cars at least still here got some cows over there i know you can't see them but cows over there protecting the car posted up 
right. What a great, great day. Good camping. Good climbing. Definitely gonna take a nap today. Hey. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm getting a car. Get back to